Sometimes when you're labeling features in QGIS, like cities, you might just want to remove one label or more than one label because they are all clustered in a small area. And that's the kind of example I've got on my screen. I've labeled some larger cities and the maps focused mainly on Indonesia, but you can see that in the Jakarta area, we've got a number of different cities, Bekasi, for example, and because they're so close together, if I zoom in, we can see Jakarta's label zoomed in, but not when it's zoomed out. And what I'd like to do is manually just remove the ones near Jakarta, because I only really want to label Jakarta here. At the moment, I've got a filter on the layer. So you can see I've got the World Cities layer and I've already filtered it. That's why the icon's there. So I'm going to click that. So it's filtered with this rule, essentially saying only show those cities with a population of more than 1.5 million. But if I stick in and not, and then I click on city because that's the column the city name's in and do equals like this, equals Picasso. What that's going to do, it's going to show the cities that have got more than 1.5 million and then that are also not Picasso. So if I hit test on that, you can see it disappears. If I remove that and hit test, we get an error, but let me just remove the and. There we go. Click test on that, Picasso comes back. So this is how we can do it for one city. If I want to do it for more than one city, so I want to remove more than one city, I just switch from using equals to in, and then an open bracket, and all we need to do now is comma and type the other cities we don't want. If I didn't want to type in the city names, I could just go up to the value section, tick this, and hit all, and it's going to list all the cities in my data set. But for me at this time, it's just easy enough to type them in. Okay, so there's my cities that I do not want to appear. I'll hit test and now we just have Jakarta. So this is a really useful way to deal with those annoying problems of maps when you've labeled them and you don't want all the labels to appear. You sometimes do need to do this kind of thing, particularly if you've got cities or municipalities that are very close together and you only want to show the big one as I have done here with Jakarta. If I wanted to move, remove another city, I can type it in Semarang like that and hit test and disappears. So that's how you can do it. I just hit test to make sure I haven't mistyped something because for example, if I did this and I hit test, it tells me there's an error, that's all. But once you're happy with your expression, you can click okay and there you have it. You're manually removing any city you like with a simple expression.